so I thought I'd just talk off the cuff today about my first month of motherhood. Um, today is January 29th, so my little nugget is one month old today, Mr. Silas, Gary Spurl. Um, it's, I don't feel that different. Like, I'm really happy to not be pregnant anymore. Um, but I don't feel like, oh my god, I'm a mom. I'm a lot more tired. I, yeah, it's true, you don't. I guess I haven't good, gotten a good quality sleep. I get I get sleep in small spurts, um, and I'm still functioning. Trying to nap is a struggle for me, so. I mean, I'm tired and everything, but I'm also like, I got all this stuff I wanna get done. I'm on maternity leave now. I've taken two months of maternity leave, um, which equates to about like eight weeks. So I had all these projects I wanted to do on my maternity leave. Which I'm like, yeah, I know I'm gonna over schedule myself. He's adorable. Mr. Silas is super adorable. And I enjoy holding him and hanging out with him. Um, I already have mom guilt. My biggest thing that's been weird is I'm having to make decisions for another person a ton. Like a ton of decisions I'm having to make for this other person. And if you guys don't know me, I struggle making decisions for myself. Even still going to stores with him or doing outings with him, it's like if we don't get somewhere within like two and a half hours, he's gonna fuss. And, or, you know, if our errands take longer from the time we leave the house, I'm talking like to, if it takes longer than two and a half hours, he is gonna be fussy and screaming. So. I can't complain, he's been a pretty good baby. He sleeps a lot. He's squirmy. He likes to move his legs and his arms and his, his head. He likes to move his head a lot. Um, he can't control his neck or anything. Hopefully, my husband's like, yeah, once he gains some neck control, it'll be a little easier to grab him and take care of him and all that stuff, so. Looking forward to milestones like that. He's starting to like grab stuff more, try and grab stuff. His bottle, he's trying to grab and so that's fun. I think he's I think he's progressing. I think we, we give him some tummy time and he can lift his head up, you know, he can do it. Can he control it on his own? Like when we're passing him back and forth, like Ryan and I'll pass him, you know, he can't control it or I don't know how long that'll take. He's got a rollover and a crawl and all kinds of fun stuff we're really looking forward to. Um, he has smiled, a lot of it is gas smiles. He's had a lot of gassy, fun gas struggles. Um, we have switched his formula once to a gentle ease kind of formula because he would just he would eat and then about 15 minutes after he ate he would start kicking his legs and kind of screaming like he was having gas pains and then and then you'd hear him we're calling it toot you'd hear him toot a couple times and um, you can tell when they're wet toots and then um, we have to change him now as a mom like. I've gotten used to it. Like, it always was weird to meet people who are just, like, used to changing their kid or, you know, like, I mean, I do it, I do it probably eight to ten times a day. We feed him eight times a day. Um, there's times where I've changed him in between the feeding. Um, you know, we got, we were, he was in the preemie diapers to begin with. He was tiny. Um, again, he was five pounds, seven ounces. He was tiny, so he was in the preemie diapers he'd be in all his newborn clothes he was swimming in I mean he was a little little guy and he's he's gained a lot of weight now now some of his newborn ones he's grown out of he's in newborn diapers finally about three weeks he was in newborn diapers so I'm assuming he'll probably stay in newborn diapers until maybe month three maybe I don't know I have no idea we're just kind of taking it one step at a time we've had to buy Gosh, we've got to target like so many times for like random stuff. We're like, okay, we need this. Oh, anyway, so the premium pack of diapers, the largest pack that my that our store sells is like 27 diapers. So we were going through a package of premium diapers every three days easily. Um, and so that was, that was fun. My husband haven't, I'd be like, can you bring back? And so we were trying to like get him out of the premium diapers. So he's in the newborn ones, those are working well. Um, but we really, we had a diaper party and we really didn't get that many newborns because generally people don't buy newborns because they grow out of them so fast. Well, 
ours is not our kids not growing out of where we're investing so oh it's been fun i call it joyfully exhausted i'm joyfully exhausted and yeah we've had little gas problems um he's been a little spit uppy i've heard uh, babies being much worse so um i think a little spit up's definitely normal um i try to burp him um sometimes i struggle he usually burps good the first time like i usually burp him like three or four times throughout a feeding um, and he burps good like the first time and then I struggle getting burps later and sometimes he's just fussing and wants to keep eating. Um, we definitely have gone through many outfits um, a day if he'll, he, he actually, I don't know if it's me not getting the diaper on well enough, but he's like peed through some outfits. <laughs> um, all, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So, um, and I'm sure all, I'm a first time mom, so I'm sure all moms can relate to all this stuff and uh, we only have four of the little bottles so um, and we feed him eight times a day because he feeds every three hours if not sometimes he feeds every two hours and our doctors just like feed him whenever he's hungry he needs to gain the weight you know um, and so um, we have so we have four four of these small bottles so I was having to wash bottles two times a day if not more and I would try and before we before I went to sleep I would try and make sure all the bottles were clean we, whether you know we'd get off during the day or we had these to-go bottles we were using so you know we'd get off but um then there was one day where my husband and I were just exhausted we had we actually had him out a while and all the bottles were dirty and we ended up using our larger I think they were like eight ounce eight ounce bottles and um, just because none of the bottles were clean and it was like, um, I'm done. I'm tired. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, we've been keeping laundry. We, we need to buy him some more stuff. But right now we go through his like burb cloths, getting feeding eight times a day. We don't have near enough. So, um, we don't even make it two days with the birth cloths. We're just doing tons of laundry. I mean, he goes through outfits go through towels with our baths and everything. We don't bat bathe them every day, but, um, you know, when we do, I go through, like, three towels because I just want to make sure he's plenty dry so he's not too cold or anything. It's winter, it's January, so i um, trying to keep, keep him warm. He also spits up on a bunch of blankets. We have a changing pad cover. We actually didn't have it when he first was born. We didn't have a cover for a changing... We had a little, nice little changing pad, but it was, like, a plastic cover it was cushy like it was cushy and everything I we just didn't have a cover on it and we just kind of wiped it off whenever we needed to well then there was a cover for sale at Target we were there once so I was like let's get a cover so we got a cover and now the cover I ended up taking it on and off all the time just to wash it and I'm just like I don't even know if this cover is worth it because <laughs> it literally does not last more than two days so I'm always constantly watching that okay that's as much I'm gonna say I keep going in circles now so um until next time